Here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Hurricane Ian set to make a second landfall in South Carolina this afternoon here in southern New England. Some of the high clouds far away from the center of the storm streaming overhead and have been creating a gorgeous sunrise for us. We'll see some filtered sun this morning, but the clouds do tend to take over today. Nice view here from New Bedford. A chilly start this morning. Low 40s still Smithfield and in Willimantic. Middle and upper 40s from Providence and New Bedford to Newport. Our threat tracker. It stays in the green for today. Do you want to give you the heads up about a heavy rain threat? for Saturday, especially along the coastline. We're going to be right on the edge whether that heavy rain makes it into southern New England or not, but there is the potential for some localized flooding along with chilly temperatures and cloudy skies. On Sunday, a little bit damp, especially in the morning, still windy and cool during the afternoon and a lot of clouds through the next several days. This morning, those clouds are going to continue to roll in and thicken. 52, 10 o'clock in the morning. Noontime temperatures in the upper 50s and then this afternoon, making it only to the lower to middle 60s, finishing the day with mainly cloudy skies. We'll stay dry overnight tonight, but it will be a lot of clouds overhead, upper 40s to around 50 for a low. Here's our live radar of Hurricane Ian this morning. You can see the heavy rain already in North South Carolina, Southeast Virginia as well. There's already some flash flood warnings that have been issued for parts of Charleston and points north this morning as that heavy rain bands continue to shift in. We have a storm with 85 Five mile an hour sustained winds moving to the north northeast right now, but expected to turn to the northwest, and that brings it on shore this afternoon into the area near south uh, near Charleston, South Carolina. From there, it'll rapidly weaken. Right now, the tropical storm force winds extend out more than 400 miles from the center of the storm, but that'll quickly shrink up as the storm uh, pushes inland. As far as the storm surge goes, this could be life threatening. Four to seven foot storm surge in the Charleston area and points north. And in this is a region, we call it the low country, uh, which is prone to flooding even without a storm approaching. So that's one part of the forecast. The rain, the other part, a region could see isolated amounts of a foot of rain. The heavy rain will be spreading north and westward. Now, even though the center of the storm all the way out in southwest Virginia. Notice this piece of moisture and energy that gets into New England by tomorrow morning. So showers over spreading the region and look at all that heavy rain just along and offshore. Some of our computer models bring it further north. Others keep it mostly offshore. So that's a trend we're going to have to be watching for for the daytime on Saturday. I would plan on rounds of rainfall even Sunday morning. Still some showers just offshore. Cloudy skies will try to thin maybe a little bit for some partial sun in the afternoon. The highest risk of flash flooding and excessive rainfall tomorrow is right along the coastline in southern New England. We'll also see some winds picking up Saturday. They're breezy, but Sunday is a windy day. Gusts between 30 and 40 miles per hour, even a little stronger on the Cape and Island. Seven day forecast. We're looking at a chilly rain on Saturday, potential again along the coast for more than an inch of rainfall. Windy with a few showers on Sunday, Monday looking mainly dry, but even early next week, we'll still have the chance of a few showers at times and the temperatures will be running below normal.